development consists of two important parts and each one of them requires different skills and knowledge of technologies. Now front end developer deals with what the user interacts with and the back end is all that goes behind the scenes and makes it happen. Hi everyone this is Shantani from Edureka and in today's session we will talk about different front end developer skills. Now before we begin the session let's have a look at today's agenda. So first we will see what is front end development and then we will discuss who is actually a front end developer. And after that we will move on and have a look at the different jobs and salary trends for a front end developer. And then I will discuss some of the top 10 technical front end developer skills and then we will also have a look at some of the non technical skills that are required. Now before we get started don't forget to subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to stay connected. Now talking about front end development what is it actually. So have you ever looked at a website and wondered how it actually works. All those buttons that you could click and the motions in your favorite website are actually a part of the front end development. Basically all the visible site features are built through front end development. Now the front end layer helps you interact with the web watch videos perform actions like register to an online shopping site etc. Basically the design look and feel of the web is accomplished with the help of HTML CSS and JavaScript. So everything beautiful or moving that you see in your website is with the help of all of these three scripting languages and this is what makes the front end development. So who is a front end developer. So a front end developer is basically someone who implements these web designs through different programming languages like HTML CSS and JavaScript. Now the front end developers work with the design and outlook of the website whereas the back end developers program what goes on behind the scenes like your databases. So if you head to any particular website you can see that the work of a front end developer in the form of your navigation layouts and also the way a site looks different from your phone. So if you are opening the same site in your phone and in your laptop you will get to see the difference between those two outlooks. Now web design is all about the way a website looks while front end development is how the design actually gets implemented on the website. The front end developer is the person who is responsible for the implementation. So now that you know about front end development and what a front end developer actually does let's have a look at the jobs and salary trends for this particular role. Now according to a survey by Tech Republic web development is one of the 10 hottest technical skills in 2019. Now the recent stats from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics forecast that by 2026 the number of web development positions will grow by 15% as compared to the numbers from 2016. Now that's a huge growth here. So let's talk about some of the key roles of a front end developer. So for that we have a front end engineer, a junior front end developer, a front end software engineer or a front end developer. So the average salary for a front end developer in India is around 494000 and talking about the salary range in the USA a senior front end developer earns more than a hundred thousand dollars on an average whereas a junior front end developer has an average salary of seventy thousand dollars. So this was about the job trends and salary but what are the skills that you need in order to become a front end developer. So let's have a look at the top 10 technical skills that you must have in order to become a front end developer. Now if you have a look at the current job listings for the front end developers you will see that there is a clear and common pool of skills employers are looking for. First one is definitely HTML and CSS. Now hypertext markup language is the standard markup language used for creating web pages. So it is the most basic building block required for developing websites. Whereas CSS that is the cascading style sheets is the language used for presenting the document you create with HTML. So HTML creates the foundation for your page whereas CSS is used to create the layout of the page the color fonts and style and both of these languages are absolutely essential to become a front end developer. 
apart from HTML and CSS you also need JavaScript or jQuery now this is another important tool for a front-end developer and if you are trying to implement interactive features in your website such as audio and video games scrolling abilities page animations JavaScript is the tool you need and JavaScript consists of libraries like the jQuery so it is basically a collection of plugins and extensions that make it faster and easier to use JavaScript on your website and jQuery also takes common tasks that require multiple lines of JavaScript code and compresses them into a format that can be executed with a single line. The next thing you must be well known with is the different frameworks. So the CSS and JavaScript frameworks are the collections of CSS or JavaScript files that perform different tasks by providing common functionality. So instead of starting with an empty text document you start with a code file that already has lots of JavaScript present in it. Now frameworks have their strengths and weaknesses which makes it important to choose the best framework for the type of website you are building. For example some JavaScript frameworks are great for building complex user interfaces while others excel at displaying all of your sites content. The next skill that you must possess is the responsive design. Now we use different gadgets like computers phones and tablets to look at the web pages. So the web pages adjust themselves to the device you are using without any extra effort from your end. This is actually due to the responsive design. One major role of a front end developer is to understand the responsive design principles and also how to implement them on the coding side. It is definitely an intrinsic part of the CSS frameworks like the bootstrap. And these skills are all interconnected and so as you learn one you will often be making progress in the others at the same time. Talking about the next skill it's version control or the git. Now what is it actually? Version control is the process of tracking and controlling changes to your source code so that you don't have to start from the beginning if anything goes wrong. It is a tool that you can use to track the changes made previously so that you can go back to a previous version of your work and find out what actually went wrong without tearing the whole thing down. So this basically saves a lot of your time. The next skill you need is testing or debugging. Now testing is an important part of any project to keep the bugs away. So a front end developer must possess the skill and ability to test and debug the codes. Now there are different testing methods for web development. Functional testing looks at a particular piece of functionality on your site and also ensures that it does everything according to the code. We also have another testing called as the unit testing which tests the smallest bit of code and examines it individually for correct operation. So testing is a big part of the front end development process and there are frameworks to help you. Also there are programs like Mocha and Jasmine that are designed to speed up and simplify your testing process. The next skill you need to possess is related to browser developer tools. So the modern web browsers come equipped with developer tools for testing and debugging. These tests allow you to test the web pages in the browser itself and finds out how the page is interpreting the code. The browser developer tools usually consist of an inspector and a JavaScript console. So the inspector allows you to see what the runtime HTML on your page looks like, what CSS is associated with each element on the page and also allows you to edit your HTML and CSS and see the changes live as they happen. Also the JavaScript console allows you to view any errors that occur as the browser tries to execute your JavaScript code. Next up is the web performance. Now it is very important to make sure that your website performs smoothly without any glitch. So web performance defines the amount of time it takes for your site to load. If you are having problems with performance times there are steps you can take to improve them such as optimizing images and minifying CSS and JavaScript. Now here we have programs like Crunt and Gulp that can be used to automate image optimization CSS and JavaScript minifying and other web performance cores as well. It definitely helps in making your website more efficient. The next skill is the CSS pre-processing. Now you have already seen how HTML and CSS are two important scripting languages. 
now CSS preprocessor is an advanced version of CSS. So this is used to enhance the primary class of CSS to create better versions of websites. It is not just a language to improve the styling elements, but it also helps the developers to skip tasks like writing the CSS selectors and color strings frequently. Now there are three types of preprocessors available such as the SAS, LESS and STYLUS. So you should write the code that helps the preprocessor and in turn it converts into CSS that will work for the website. And the final technical skill you must be well versed with is the command line. Now GUI that is graphic users interface is an important part of web development and coding as well. But an all purpose GUI is going to have its limitations for some specific applications. Sometimes you may need to open a terminal on your computer where you can enter the typed commands or command lines to get what you actually need. Although the majority of your work is done through a GUI, you can add serious cred to your front end skills if you have a mastery of the command line. So these were the top 10 technical front end developer skills. Now along with these you should also be familiar with some other non technical fields that will help you in your career growth. So we have a misconception that the developers are only required to create user interfaces effectively. But to make efficient products it is also important to communicate with the clients and grasp different ideas. So for that you should be well versed with verbal and vocal communication skills. Also to work with a team you need to possess the basic lessons of the team working too. Now one thing that all front end developers must have regardless of the job description or official title is its excellent problem solving skills from figuring out how to best implement a design to fixing bugs that crop up to figuring out how to make your front end code work with the back end code being implemented development is all about creative problem solving. So it's not just always about the technical skills. There are some of the soft skills or non technical skills that you must possess as well in order to become a front end developer. So these were some of the important front end developer skills that you must possess if you want to excel in this field. So with this we have come to the end of today's session and I hope you understood all the different skills that you need to brush up if you want to start your career in front end development. So don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.